The movie industry brings billions of dollars here to Georgia. Today, many of those in the industry were invited to the Capitol to celebrate that economic impact. But there is concern that some bills being considered under the Gold Dome could hurt industry growth. CBS 46's Vince Sims joins us live now at the Capitol to explain the conundrum. Vince. All right, well, the issue is what happens in Georgia does not necessarily just stay in Georgia. There are some bills under the state capitol here that are gaining national and even worldwide attention. And there are some in the movie industry that think if some of these bills pass, it could hurt their industry. Our house was filmed for, uh, used for a movie. My husband's office uh, was used for a film also. We, I, I'm an actor, so I've been in film, TV, and done tons of commercials. So, job, job, jobs. Jobs are just one economic aspect of the film industry highlighted at the state capitol. Everyone here is connected in some way to the industry that brings big bucks to Georgia. Now, since the incentive passed in 2008, we went from $241 million worth of economic impact to $9.5 billion. That includes $2.7 billion in direct spending from the more than 320 film and television productions shot in Georgia during the 2017 fiscal year. But some fear House Bill 481, which is referred to as the heartbeat bill, could hurt the growing industry. It would be one of the strictest anti-choice, anti-woman bills in the country of all the states. The bill says a doctor could not perform an abortion once a heartbeat is detected in a fetus. That usually is around six weeks into a pregnancy. Sherry Mann Stewart says friends from other countries have messaged her about seeing the pictures of protesters of the bill dressed as handmaids from the popular TV series and book. She says passing that bill could cause movie dollars to pass on Georgia. In this industry, we would see possibly boycotts of films uh, being made here. Uh, actors who don't want to come here, don't want to spend the time here uh, living under those kinds of laws. All right, she also has concerns about the religious freedom bill, if that was to come through as well. So we're going to keep an eye on all of these for you. Reporting live at the state capitol, I'm Vince Sims, CBS 46 News.